It requires your listening, it requires your divine attention. Uh, we're going to throw a lot of linguistic linguini against the wall here. There's a lot of references, there's a lot of uh, 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 anachronism. There are many word pictures and paintings. will float your way. Uh, so you will go with the flow of the language and it will take us to some magical places. Before we get started, I just want to give a heartfelt thanks to David Amram for stepping in tonight. Kevin Twig, Adam Amram, for doing this very seat of the pants style. So, uh, shamanic, you might say. May we present Dig Infinity, Lord Buckley, in the Bardo. Here's me, Lord Richard Buckley, Royal Holiness of the Far Out, Mad Prophet of the Hip. I've gone to my reward, may not be as swinging as my life, but Valhalla will have a hard time keeping my ass down. Once I show up, Tilted at windmills my entire life, each one of them marked no. The sorry dynamo. From tiny Tim saying, there goes Mr. Scrooge. He's the Lord's boy today. You can get with him if you want to. There's only one way straight to the road of love. So like old tiny Tim and Scrooge Scrooge, I want you to believe that I too did the great, great turnabout, most immaculate there. There were, however, those that did not dig me at all. Back in the 50s, I had me a manager, put me into a real Tony Joy in Baltimore MD. He didn't have to say nothing about nothing, but he says, anyway, Dick, this place is pretty ritzy. But they're just tobacco farmers who want to swill some bourbon and listen to patsies like you tell mammy jokes. Please don't do that Black Cross bit or any of that other strange fruit shit. Okay. I like to do for you a piece called the Black Cross. Could be called the Pink Cross, the Green Cross, the Yellow Cross, the Aquamarine Cross, the Criss Cross, maybe even the Red, White, and Blue Cross. But we call it the Black Cross. Kumbaya, Kumbaya. Kumbaya, 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 Kumbaya. There was old Hezekiah Jones of Hogback County, <laughs> and he lived on a hill in a weather-beaten hovel. Oh, Hezekiah! Black as the soil he was hoeing. Never did earn that much, but when he did earn, he bought cold liquor, which he, mm, 
Dr. O'Neill and more books. Books. Guess what he calls the rainy season. But he never saved more than two, three dollars to the uh, spinning. Just for that reason. White folks in the world, Hezekiah said, well, he's uh, harmless enough, I guess, but the way I figure, he better put down those goddamn books, because reading ain't no good for one ignorant. Nigga. Reverend O'Green of the white man's church coming around to pay all Hezekiah a visit. Talk to him about the pearl of kingdom. Save his soul from the Lord Jehovah. Oh, Hezekiah, said the white man's preacher, you believe in the Lord, old oh, Hezekiah, he puckered up his frosty brow, he said, well, uh, I ain't never seen the Lord, no way, no how, so, uh, can't say that I do. You believe in the church now, don't you, old oh, Hezekiah, said, well, church is divided, ain't they, can't seem to make up their mind, I guess I'm just like them, I ain't decided. Oh, Hezekiah said the white man's preacher, you believe when you die, you go to heaven. Who oh, the greatest cat in the world is? Mr. Beechill, Mr. Seachill, Mr. Churchill, and all them hills gonna get you straight. If they can't straighten you, they know a cat that knows a cat that'll straighten you. But I'm here to put a cat on you. Was the whippingest, wailingest, wildest, strongest, most wild stuff that ever stomped on this sweet green swinging sphere. And they done called this here cat the Naz. Naz was a cop with the kitty. He was the kind of a cat to come on so cool and so groovy and so wicked that when he laid it down, well, hey! It stayed there. Naturally, all the rest of the cats pushing the Naz, pushing the Naz to dig his lick, dig his miracle lick. So the Naz say, tell you what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna take two, four, six, eight, ten of you cats. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, I'm gonna take all 12 of you studs and straighten you all at the same time. Naz looked at the little cat with the bare frame. He said, what's the matter with you, baby? The little cat with the bare frame said, it's my frame, Naz. It bends. Naz looked at the little kitty. He laid his golden eyes of love down on this little bag. He looked at the little cat he looked right down through the windows of the little cat's soul. He say, straight up them zoom, that little cat stood straight as an arrow, leaning up against the lamppost, chewing on a toothpick, saying, what time do we eat? Everybody walk away with their eyes poking out, say, look what the nice son put on that boy. You dug him before. We dig him now. For he was jazz hipping us to a real crazy joyous land. Joining the river just in hand and where sober pop rivers touch. A thought, a story, an idea to stretch the uh, gray matter. A request. Jack! Johnny! That you and me be wipers of scores with all, all people. Whether they pipe us free from rats, rock and roll. Oh, the blue sweet shoes. Sorry, keep our promises. And we'll never, never blow the blues. No. Wow.
one man from Wildsville, Wood man from Wonderland, man of a thousand and one voices coming back at you on WSTX Club Limbo for another long night's journey into day. So light that Roman candle at both ends, slow down your oxygen sniffers, and boom, fasten your seatbelts. Lord Buckley, known to my followers as the Hip Messiah. Dig it, my brothers and sisters. I believe they neglected to mention Grifter, Flim Flam Man, Teller of Tall Tales, Charlatan. <laughs> so what's up all this, uh, Jive talk, you ask. Well, I got into show business. I was on my way to Mexico to join my brother in an oil campaign. I got as far as Texas where I ran into a long, angular guitar player. <laughs> and the first theater date I ever played in my life, in fact, the first theater I was ever in my life, Anton, the manager of the theater, he said, Sir, I'm paying you what I owe you, but I have to tell you, you are the lousiest act I've ever seen in my life! And you know something? He was right. <laughs> he was right. And that, my dear princes and princesses, put an end to my little jubilee. I thought I'd walk before they made me run. Yes, I know. Speaking in riddles and rhymes have but little currency here. So according to my PR, I can take any old and revered mix and Make it sing out loud to my homies. Well, let's have an interest in doing these hip semantics primarily because of the tremendous advantage you have with the youth of the nation. The, the hip talk seem to be more or less their language. So maybe we should spill a little bit of wax, babies. I'm all Scroogey Scrooge, and I got all Molly's Bolly. I'm the baddest cat in all this here world. I've been studying my entire life scientifically how to Scrooge people, and I guarantee you I thought some fine work in that direction. Crash it! This is one of the pieces I'm considering for my grand revelation on God's podcast. <laughs> the Nats! The Nats! You know the bit! Well, perhaps after a royal 40 weeks, you may see things anew. Oh, hi, Sahib of the great cathode cathedral in the clouds. I just knew you'd come through. Sleep on it. Do not perchance to move. Dig and thou shalt be dug. Drag not, and thou shalt not be drug. And contrary to what many people thought, it was actually very healthy for all participants. Real healthy. I also hear they shoot horses, don't they? Yowza, yowza, yowza! The marathon goes on and on. When will it stop? When will it end? Only when the last two of these starry eyed kids stumble and swoon over broken bodies and busted dreams. 